you're doing something in special in terms of talents, you're good at it, I would like to hear from you. And today I have two very important guests, uh, they are poets, spoken word artists if, uh, if you want to say. And I just want to hear a bit from them and then they're going to perform, they're going to, tell, they're going to show us what they do. So here you are, so welcome man. Welcome uh, to welcome to the show. Thank you very it's much. It's great to have you here. So maybe you could tell maybe the guests uh, your name. Let's, let's start with the lady. Huh? Ladies first. <laughs> oh, my name is Mary Kabu, a student at the University of Nairobi, and a performing musician. A performing and a, musician. A, an upcoming musician. An upcoming musician. Yes. What, what are you doing at the university? Uh, I study at Chiromo, uh -huh. uh, fourth year, Bachelor of Science in Biology. All right. All right. So Mary Kabu. Yeah, Mary Kabu. Perfect. Perfect. And then, sir. Uh, my name is Vincent Omoga. Vincent Omoga? Yeah, commonly known as Tool. Tool. Yeah. That's your stage name? That's my stage name. Uh -huh. uh, I'm a student at the University of Nairobi. Okay. Uh, pursuing computer information systems and armed conflict and peace studies. Computer information systems. But yeah. You people are serious, eh? Yeah? You're doing serious <laughs> business. That's perfect. So now, uh, where does art play? You know, you, all of you, both of you actually pursuing something quite different from, uh, from, from art, right? Yes. So where, where does art go for you? Art is life. Art is life. Yeah. So when you're not in class, you're writing some... I'm writing something. Some spoken word. Yeah. All right. So are you, what's the main difference between poetry and spoken word? Is it and the one blanket for someone who may be out there asking? Mm, to me, uh, it depends on the del delivery. Spoken word takes the, uh, the form of rap. But poetry, poetry, you can give, the, like, for example, the likes of Maya Angelo and mm -hmm. the likes. Yeah. So, written poetry. Okay. Uh, okay. The, the, the difference is just delivery. The delivery. Yeah. So it's more of, more of the delivery itself. That's what makes the distinction. Yeah. All right. Now, Mary, uh, you're, you're not a poet as such. You said you're a coming yeah. musician. Yes. What, uh, what genre of um, music? Uh, I love mostly classic. Uh-huh. And um, a bit of soft rock, yeah. Okay, okay. Me. Yes. You know, today you're going to be performing together, right, for us, for the yes. viewers. I'm sure people are excited to hear what you've got. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for one year. Performing in front of people has uh -huh. not been a year for me. For a year for you? Yeah. Uh, stage performance, uh -huh. uh, roughly 17 years. 17 years? Yeah. That's perfect. From, it, it carries back way, way to, from St. Luke's Catholic Church, mm -hmm. back then, in the junior youths. Okay. I used to do poetry. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. You participated in the Star Talent Show. I think that's where we met. Yeah. What was your experience of the Star Talent Show, by the way? Let me start with Mary. Mm, to me, it was a new experience. Uh -huh. It was my first time actually auditioning, mm -hmm. and it was really nice. I loved the constructive criticism, perfect. actually, which has helped me grow. Yeah, all right. Yes. All right. And for you, how was it? Heavenly. Looking forward to the second season? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> all right. So now let me let me give it to you. Now take us through. Uh, I know it's a bit comfortable because you're you're seated, but I think you can. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to to do something. So take us through. Let's see what you've got. Ladies first. Ladies first. All right. All right. That's a gentleman. Everybody loves the things you do, from the way you talk to the way you move. Everybody here. Cause you feel like home You're like a dream come true If by any chance you're here with me Then can I have a moment Before I go She says she loves me But I lied to her So how do I tell her who she loves doesn't exist? See the makeup that you wear screams marvels of insecurity and marvelity. See makeup, the content originally meant to complement a woman now corrupts her connection to man's conceptualization to what real beauty is. See ladies, you've reinvented natural beauty. It's rational and not natural and it's so sad to see you misguided and mistaught empty hollow inside your shallow thoughts. You can't lay your face an inch thick white powder makeup and lips painted red intends to look bait and bit mency. There's nothing sweet in being fake. So I sat there, waiting for her to pass by, that I may just steal a glance at her pretty smiles. You see this? This I did every day, but I never, ever had the guts to tell her how I felt. See, I was afraid. Love is kinda complicated, right? The fear of rejection was deep 
inside my chest, see. Love is from the heart and I'll be torn apart if it was thrown into a heath. I mean, there she was. She who displayed the character of a thief, see. She stole my heart, caged my head, stripped my mind naked, making love to my thoughts, see her face. Her face was spotless like the snows in the Arctic with well placed dimples, I mean. Her scarlet red lips were so inviting they got men hypnotized. She, and she alone was the epitome of beauty, crafted in the image of a divine being. But how could I? How could I draw close to her, yet I was not in her class? How could I? How could a hideous beast like me be tamed with such beauty, yet I never stood a chance to compete with those other guys with jewelries, cash, and classy clothes? to complement a beautiful, crafted body. Now I'm stuck in the dark with my unforeseen shadow of mental anarchy of not beholding her. See, I hate you with passion. Thank you. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I was, I, I, I forgot, I, I actually, if there's an, a cloud nine, I was above it, just way above it. That's, that's, that's pretty good, uh, and wow. Man, I mean, I, I love it. I just, that was really good. That was, that was just uh, really, really, really good. So, what, what, uh, did you write, did you write this poem from um, your experience, someone's experience? <laughs> <laughs> what was, okay, what's your motivation? Let, let me just uh, throw it out there. Uh, I, I, my origin with poetry, I was in a group called uh, Poetry Pot. Mm -hmm. And currently I'm in a books club called The Rents Book Club. Okay. So they are the amazing writers there. And uh, when they write, they challenge you to write too. So you write anything out of the blues. Yeah. Perfect. Mary, you, you sing so well, man. Thank you. Sir. And I would, before we close, before we take a break, could you like do something together? Like, uh, you know, she sings, you do a spoken, you know, something like that. Can you do something like that to just, yeah? yeah, yeah. All right. Take, a, take us through. Let's see that. She was lost in so many different ways Out in the darkness with no guide But I still go home knowing that I've got you There's only us where light go Vincent Oduor, also known as Thuol, is one guy known to rip the stage despite his age. He has achieved a lot. From writing pieces and performing them live on stage, this makes all the females fall in love with him on the spot. He has shared stage with Sir William, Don Matera, Ani Moshkani, and even Maya Angelou. In the future, and break it in from far from William Shakespeare as begging me to be his tutor. Even Donald Trump took a break from Twitter because it's to all who he tweets about when he can, right? Don't go online and double check that. See, I've already confirmed. Still, you have no idea how much skill this key possesses. Teaching lessons to diverse messages with poetry, like a liquid crystal lying beneath your spine. Even my mom says that to all is the best thing to ever happen to local poetry. She hasn't said it loud yet, but, but that's what she thinks. See, Thuol is by a shrink the phenomenon that philosophers discuss over drinks. He is a blueprint that a politician does before he speaks. He is the color red to rosy cheeks. And before all of us in Y254 go to groupie, let me just summarize this for you. See, Thuol and Kavu has got way too much awesomeness for this column size. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, take us, yeah, please. I found heaven on earth. You are my last, my first. And then I hear his voice inside. Ave Maria. She says she loves me. That's why I ask her, if I was to place your heart on my palm, would you dance around my arms? Would you agree to use your scented lips to kiss my fingertips until my nails turn rainbow? Would you write your stories on my lifelines if I said so? For there, I could read. 
Since I've learned the literatures of your smiles, even when you bleed, see, I've sung songs about you. The joyous melodies, inspired by a kiss, and in the epiphany, scouted the tales of our adventures when you're here with me, I swear, I've done it all. Now, I don't usually swear. I now wake up to put a huge smile on my face, I didn't usually wear a wash, even the last stain on my socks, which I didn't usually care, all this because of a love that once wasn't there, and I swear that even in the last day of existence I will spend it embracing our unity if you insisted for you a beautiful as beautiful as the sun emerging on the crest of Paramount, a diamond too bright to remain underground. You are an angel, an angel that I will die to have as my wife. I mean, the power that be when I kiss you, it's like God has entrusted me with his last breath and you are the gorgeous vessel I get to breathe into. Lend me you. I promise not to beat the bitter end of your residue. Let me through, that is why I ask. If I was to place my heart on your palm, would you allow me to dance around your arms? Would your fist be flex enough to allow me lay on the pedal of my love? And would you love your hand more then, or really just drop me down and shove in a glove? Thank you. Um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Um, I think that, that's it. That's, that's right, right there. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was Mary and Vincent to all, right? One, guys, you're talented. That is that is just out there. I have to say out there, you're talented. And I want to thank you for making time to come to this show. And I really wish that, you know, they, you know Kenya gets to hear you. You know, that you get at that stage that you need to, to be heard in the whole, even in the whole world. Please go for, go for it. I'm impressed. That is absolutely beautiful. You're supposed to do this, right? That's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we're going to have a break now. I, I want to thank again my guests, uh, Mary and uh, Vincent. I want to thank, uh, thank them for, for coming today. So... We have, we're having a short break now. We're going to be back. Thank you again. Don't go away. Why 254? Imagine.